Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and welcome back to the Trash Trailer Reno. Uh, hopefully we'll be back to doing some actual gardening within the next couple of weeks. But working on this house has just kind of taken over my life, so I'm really sorry to YouTube for not getting uh, more videos up recently. I've just kind of been really leaning into Facebook Reels because they're short, they're easy, um, and filming a whole length video while trying to do this process has just been a lot. So I figured today, while I'm waiting for paint to dry, I would take you guys around and give you a little bit of a property update. Last time I did a video, it was we had 30 days to move in and it's basically been about 30 days. So we are moved in. We're living kind of rough right now. Okay, not that rough because we do have Wi-Fi, <laughs> which getting Wi-Fi here was, ah, uh, yay. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's start and take a quick walk around and I'll show you what's going on. So we're here in the living room, you can see I've done some painting. Instead of going with the blues down there on that little swatch wall there, I ended up going with this nice green. It's a Glidden paint called Fallen Star, I think. Um, and then I did decide to go and paint the trim a nice fresh white. It's really pretty. Um, you will notice that all our windows are held open with paint stirrers because the windows that do open don't stay open and then the other windows just don't open. The other problem is that once these windows are open, they don't close all the way. We're gonna have to eventually replace these windows. There is one window that I wanna replace ASAP. That I may not get to show you in this video because that room is occupied with uh, drowsing college students, so. <laughs> I don't want to intrude on them too much. I have not finished painting the whole room. It's just, it's been tiring. All of these cabinets are going, I've decided. It's going to be more expensive. It's going to take me longer, but all of these cabinets are going. Um, they're just either busted or there's been mice, you know, not since we moved in, but there was evidence of mice before we were here and just... No, we're, we're just gonna get rid of them and they're they're pretty dingy and they don't really close or stay closed and they have weird latches it's, they're going they're going we temporarily got a used fridge just because I haven't been able to move mine out of my parents house yet but this fridge is not the old fridge that was here it does not smell disgusting it is not full of dead fruit flies and mold uh, so Yay for working fridge. We don't have a stove because I need to get the electrician in to take care of this plug here. Actually, right now, if you look behind me, you can see the extension cords. Uh, we're running the fridge off an extension cord. We're running our phone chargers and things like that off an extension cord in the other room. Um, that is temporary. It's just the electrician can't fit us on his schedule until about two weeks from now. So two weeks from now, he will be here. He'll be putting in the right outlet for an electric stove. We were going to do a propane stove and my friend gave me her propane stove. Um, so I'm gonna go pass this on to somebody else who could need it. It's just that we had decided we were gonna do a propane furnace and that was costing about $5,000 to have that installed, like a new furnace, the propane tanks, the digging the gas lines, all of that. And we were just gonna add on to it, digging out another little trench and putting in a gas line for the propane stove. But the more I've talked to people, the more people have made comments on my Facebook reels and all of that, the more I really think that mini splits is going to be the way to go. It's probably going to go right above where this air conditioner currently is, and we'll pop it up there. So we're gonna have three mini splits. We'll have one for this main area and then we'll get one in each of the bedrooms. So not only then will we have heating, but we'll also have cooling. And I think it's going to cost about the same. So that means I have to sacrifice having a gas stove and have an electric stove, but that's okay. I can live with that. At some point, I would also like to install a pellet stove or a wood stove. Maybe the wood stove that's in the back there. I just don't know if it's in good working condition or not. We'll have to see. Um, but how they were heating this house previously, if you guys have not seen that video, is that behind me in this room, there is a wood stove. And it's vented out through that side wall there, and they were blowing the heat in with this fan. And hey, I gotta applaud the ingenuity, but not safe 
very, very not safe. So uh, we're gonna do the mini splits. Eventually I will install either a wood or pellet stove in here and we'll go with that. And now check this out. We've got all our plumbing here for the shower. So all of the plumbing in here is interior. So this will be for the washer dryer once we get that hooked up. Um, and then it goes up and it comes through and this has not been replaced yet because we've got to do the kitchen. It just goes all the way through there to the kitchen sink. So again, we're tearing out all of these cabinets. We're going to put in a new kitchen sink. I actually won a really awesome kitchen sink for really cheap at a local auction that was doing uh, building materials. So I figured rather than spend 150 or more, at Home Depot, I got this thing for like 50 bucks and it's brand new and it's nice and deep and it's already got the faucets and everything. So woohoo, um, I'm actually gonna go pick that up this afternoon, so yay. So I know everyone here is familiar with Bug who is happily munching on some uh, spilled cat food here. But unless you've been watching the Facebook Reels this weekend, you wouldn't be familiar with Sable. Look at sweet Sable. Oh, he's such a big whooshy boy. So how Sable came to be here was kind of funny. If you've been watching the Facebook Reels, you know. Um, you guys should definitely check those out, by the way. Uh, Wicked Awesome Gardening on Facebook because I post Reels and updates on the house and all of that all the time. And uh, some truly, truly terrible gardening jokes. Anyway, I was sitting out here last week on the porch with Ray, and then Ro came out and said, wait a minute, if Bug is out here with you guys, because we were petting Bug here, giving her all the scritches and attention, and she said, if Bug's out here with you, then who's that inside? <laughs> and we go inside, and there's a tabby cat in there. Um, does not look like Bug, really. I mean, he does, but he's much bigger and chunkier and uh, doesn't have her beautiful rust patches. I've been coming to this house to work on it all the time over the last six months and I had never once seen this cat. So I figured he had to have gotten away from somebody. Somebody's looking for him. So I posted him on the local Facebook page and it just went down a rabbit hole from there. And I was able to get in touch with the people who used to live in this house. They gave me the full story on the cats and I have officially been granted ownership of both cats and uh, they did say that they are both fixed. So hooray! God, I'm just looking at this and realizing how big the bags under my eyes are. Whoa, I, I'm squinting because of the sunlight that's coming through this cloud, so I don't actually look this terrible. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna leave this in the video. So there's gonna be a full video coming out in a couple of weeks. Uh, I've got to shoot it and trying to shoot cats is like trying to herd cats. So <laughs> I'm not sure how that footage is going to come together, but I'm going to film for you the whole backstory on both Bug and this cat that we have named Sable. Uh, we thought he was female at first, so we figured Sable was a really great name, but then uh, you know what? It stuck and it actually doesn't sound that bad for a boy cat name. It, it works and uh, he's adorable and he is a mush and a love. But hey, now we have two well-trained, extremely friendly barn cats and they're both fixed. So um, Bug and Sable are officially members of the family. While I'm out here, I should probably show you how terrible this front of the house looks. <laughs> uh, I need a lawnmower because this stuff is like three feet high. It's almost waist high on me because I'm short. I, it's a beautiful pollinator meadow though. Look at all of that. Aww. This bush behind me was not a lilac. It was mock orange. There is so much sumac against the house. And so I need to pull all of that out. I gotta buy a lawnmower, which uh, I don't really have the money for a lawnmower right now, but we'll get there, we'll get there. And then, yeah, this side of the house is also that white tall flower and I don't know what it is. It's, it's a weed, but uh, it's a pretty weed and I've seen it full of butterflies and bees and bugs and, you know, I I'd rather not have the ticks, but the butterflies and bees are awesome. This used to be the path down to the river, like right through here. 
and now it's all grown in with baby sumac and all of that oh my god i gotta get some goats soon i really do because i'm not gonna see that river the rest of this year <laughs> maybe i'll get to try swimming in there next year this is going to be the area where the goats go first it is also very grown in lots of sumac lots to eat uh, we're gonna get the chickens in there too uh, we just gotta have one day one day that's not full of rain so that I can build their barn and I can get up their fencing. Okay, that's not going to be a one day project. I overestimate myself when I say that. It's probably a week long project, but yeah. So this will be the initial goat pasture. The chickens will be in there. It's still going to get all the trash out of it, but I think we're going to try to get the chickens moved this weekend. So that'll start. And then this I'm going to make into a feed shed and all of that. I did have like another thought that, oh, hey, I could make that the goat barn for now. I can cobble together a chicken coop here by blocking off part of it as a interior structure and then putting hardware cloth around the rest. And I'm still undecided. People have said that this has a wood floor, that has a wood floor. You don't wanna ruin the wood floor. But I mean, this has already been a chicken coop here. And so it's already full of sawdust and probably the floor has been kind of ruined anyway. And I don't plan to keep this structure long term. I would like to actually build a real barn barn over here. And so then I wouldn't need these and they would come down. I don't know, as a cost saving measure, that may be how I do it. Now for the fate of the back addition. Closer inspection has revealed, yes, the roof has failed. Yes, there's some water damage, but all in all, I think it's actually repairable. So I'm gonna talk to a couple of people once I get to that point. Like there's so much to do in here first that, ugh. yeah, there's a lot to do. So that addition is gonna wait for a while, but I think we're gonna finish that out and it's gonna add two extra bedrooms or at least an extra bedroom, an extra like general living space and lots of storage. I find this ridiculously silly and I think you guys will too, but we got a doormat and it's funny and I just have to show you. <laughs> oh, it's the French Knights from Monty Python's and Search for the Holy Grail saying, go away or I will taunt you a second time. Uh, let's see, let me take you down to the bathroom. The thing that has seen the most change probably since the last video. So we only have power in half the building so far. Uh, we have the power on in the bedroom and here in the bathroom. And now in the bathroom here, we have all new plumbing. The tub is clean. It's no longer full of cat poop. Uh, we actually do have working plumbing. So we have a new toilet. We have new fixtures for the sink. I love this blue color. It's not gonna be in the whole bathroom, but it is gonna be here and it'll be this wall and the interior here. I'm gonna resurface that tub. I'm gonna resurface this sink. Um, I got plumbing in this sink, not in this sink because of expense. It was just an extra couple hundred bucks just to do plumbing for the additional sink. So I'm like, we don't need it. I'm gonna get rid of this sink and I'm gonna build like some shelves here or something, or maybe I will uh, redo the whole countertop, but that seems like a lot of work that I don't really need to do. I'm just gonna build some shelving there, it'll be fine. While we're down this end, let's take a look in my bedroom, which really hasn't changed. It's just, it's a bit cleaner. Um, it still needs a lot of cleaning. It's the room in the house that I really haven't touched. And why? This thing. I can't get it apart. Um, I'm gonna need a hammer or something like that because supposedly the slats just pop right up, but um, the sides rather, supposedly it just pops right up, but it's stuck. And I can't get it out of here. And until I do that, I can't wash the floors. I can't really do much of anything in here. So <sighs> I put it up on a local buy nothing page today and hopefully somebody decides to come and take it off my hands. New well tank, um, because the well tank uh, was corroded and all of that, so we had to do a new well tank. Uh, extra expense, but you know what? That's fine. We've upgraded the electrical panel, so that's all good. So we're gonna have like new wiring through the whole thing. 
Um, there is power in this room. As you can see, that's where we're running our extension cord for the fridge from. Uh, um, lovely Wi-Fi, hooray. Uh, my children's sanity has been saved. <laughs> We still have a porch full of trash. We've got to get that bagged and get that down to the transfer station this week. Oh my God, so much to do. So much to do and so little time in which to do it. Uh, I would love to show you the back bedroom because that's the room that actually is like 90% done. Um, but the teenagers are in there lounging and they're just like, we don't look like people right now. Do not film us. So we didn't do that. But yeah, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, but we've done a lot. So... Thank you guys for coming along. I'm sorry I've been kind of absent on YouTube. I am going to get better at that now that things are starting to settle in. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.